Hello, my name is Brian, and I like to do drawings. If you have no reference for that, then uh, you're way younger than I am. But if you are interested enough, hang out to the end and I'll send you a clip to what the heck I'm referencing. But anyway, today what I wanted to do is do a video on some really, really cool AI generated drawing tools. Now, like drawing is one of those things that gets at our creativity and helps us express ourselves, have a little fun, blow off a little steam, whatever you want to call it. It's something students need, we need, and whether or not you share this with your students, it is thinking awesome. So let's go ahead and jump in. There's two of them that are AI driven and they're really cool. Cool. Let's go. Okay, guys, so there's two AI generated drawing tool website things that are just awesome. And both of them are kind of connected with Google's experiments with neural learning and machine learning and AI. And so the first one is autodraw.com. I have done a review of this. I'll put it up there, but I'm gonna just gonna show you uh, one more time really quick how this works. It's a basic whiteboard, but uh, there's this auto draw function, which you can see right here. And if I turn it on, no matter what I try to draw, it's actually gonna try to interpret that and figure it out, right? So if I try to draw a bicycle, I'm going to draw one and then another one and then maybe we'll go up to the seat down and like up at the top as you can see hey there's a bicycle so if I need this drawing for something like a project or whatever that I'm doing like if I'm doing free body diagrams for forces and I wanted other people to know what the heck I'm drawing this is kind of a great way to get a bicycle so I could click on it and it just turns into it. So it's funny to see if the computer can actually figure out what the heck you're trying to draw, but either way, uh, if you need a stick figure drawing or some type of graphic and you don't know basically how to find it or you just want to search for it really quick, this is a great way. And then you can export this out and put it into whatever you're going to use it for. But the one I really want to show you today is called Quick Draw. So if you go to quickdraw.withgoogle.com, I'll put the link in the description as well. This one uh, is like live trying to figure out Pictionary with just you and the computer. Sad, I know, but uh, so back to my, you know, Simon drawing days. If you haven't seen the Saturday Night Live skit, hang on to the end. I'll try to post it uh, or at least a link to it. But here we go. So this, this might be hilarious. This thing's going to guess and I have no idea what I'm drawing. Let's go. Okay, I gotta draw an anvil. All right, got it. Under 20 seconds. All right, so. Uh, I see leg or golf club oh, man. or chandelier or seesaw. I see arrow. I don't know how to draw an anvil. I see shoe. I see diving board Maybe, or, nail, uh, or airplane or flashlight. Hand. I see bed. I see lighthouse. I see drill. Ah, uh, I have Sorry, no. <laughs> I couldn't get it. <laughs> fire. Okay, I gotta draw a fire truck. Here we go. Go. All right, so let's see. I see leg or elbow or square. Elbow. I see passport or cup or cooler oh, see or dishwasher elbow. or saw. I see marker or stereo or belt. I see diving board. I oh, see I only have seven drill, seconds. I need some wheels. Oh, I know. It's fire truck. Yes, fire truck. That was tough. Man, the first time I played this, I got snake uh, and garden hose. And those are similar. Sweater. Okay, here we go. Got it. So I'm gonna draw. I see marker. I see toothpaste. I see hexagon or pants or boomerang. Oh, I know. It's sweater. Hey, hey, hey. Passport. I don't know. Let's try this one. All right, passport. That's gonna look like a booklet. I see, I see chair. Oh, I know. It's passport. How the? Ah, <laughs> oh, zebra. How am I gonna draw a horse with stripes? Okay, let's see up there. I see squeeze or garden hose or the Great Wall of China or horse. <laughs> I see back or dog. Wow. The Great Wall of China. Oh, I know. It's zebra. Dude, I'm horrible, but uh, all right, this one I got barn. I can do barn really fast. Here we go. Go. All right, let's see. I see line or fence or street light or mountain. I see house or octagon. What? Oh, I know. It's barn. <sighs> Okay, so don't judge my drawing tools, but the funny thing is, like, if you are competitive at all, you are gonna wanna play this over and over and over, especially if you don't get them all right the first time, even if you do anvil like ah i don't know so what's cool about the end of this is if you click on the picture that you drew it'll basically show you uh, like how badly you suck and then also um other drawings that people let's see if i thought your drawing looked more like a nail um a diving board yes uh or a shoe but then you can actually oh okay 
I guess I can see that. So uh, people that maybe, maybe these are all by blacksmiths, I'm, I don't really know, but I thought that was kind of cool. You can go back, you can look at each one, and essentially why Google is doing this is you're training their AI to figure out human doodles uh, in in a world where maybe in the future whatever we draw could be interpreted or you may have to like physically draw something and they figure out what it is that you're after so to communicate and teach the machine how to communicate with humans pretty crazy and it's really fun so you know if you got some downtime maybe with your students and you're looking to just throw a fun activity at them or to just laugh with them about how horrible you may be at drawing or how good you are or how bad the computers i don't know it's a really fun activity and uh, i just figured i'd throw it out there again it's quick draw dot with google.com it is part of a long list of ai experiments that they are starting to generate you know data for their machine learning algorithms and whatever neural networks i guess they're called all right guys well i hope that was helpful uh what cool things are your students drawing where could you see this uh coming into play drop that down in the comments i hope you had fun i've got another tutorial coming right up on another drawing service that's really Really more review game based that is awesome so uh, keep an eye out for that but I hope you subscribe like this video share it with somebody that you think could benefit from it and I'll catch you next time